meeting, like we know, we met with her, and when we met trying to get the uh, entitlement, entitlement of our client here, Travel Better has, uh, they tried to renege on their initial promise by offering us, or offering our clients, a trip to either Morocco or Kenya, which we rightly refused. Our last reach out to them was that she'll be going to the uh, Maldives, the island of Maldives. So that has been communicated to them and we expect them to get back to us very shortly. Then, uh, the most important of it all is the ETC uh, promise they made to uh, that they are now saying that uh, they are going to give an equivalent of the ETC as at 2022. This is not right. What we are asking for is for how to get the ETC exactly how they said it to our wallet. We don't want it to be sent to her. Because that is her uh, price. It's her right. You know? So we are not agreeing to what they have said about giving a balance of about 30 million according to their own calculation. Because our own calculation is different. And you know how BTC is. It has different uh, prices at different levels. It's at 2024. It has its own prices. If she had saved the in our wallet, it's at 2022. We're making a lot of gain by now, you know. So we are standing by the BTC. She must get the BTC, you know, and then, you know, so that her price will be concluded and everything, everybody will be fine. You know, so we urge them to do what is necessary. Uh, the other two sponsors, Pepsi and Unique, they have both agreed that they will be sending to us by tomorrow, sending to FINA by tomorrow, one year supply of the Pepsi and one year supply of Unique. So, now wow this is so sad this is too bad like so had it been finna did not speak out these people have just you know be shining without giving her what's due like winner of season seven and they want to start season nine come on multi-choice now wow so these people selling bitcoin or whatever i better go lawyers in the house is what they are what they are saying is it right like, are they not supposed to give her equivalent of 224 Bitcoin? Since they were unable to pay since 222, Abby? Or does the 222 agreement still stand? Don't you think they are cheating somebody here? And to think that when Fina came out to speak about it, Ile Bayena went and showed her own evidence that they have paid her all her entitlement. And uh, who again? And Justin of um, Big Brother Mzanzi also say something like that. Um, them owing him, even Jenny O, oh, that they are still owing her. So what's happening? Why is it? Why are they owing? Is it that they don't make profit from the show or something? But from what Ebuka do say, um, they make enough profits to settle all these people. And so apart from profit, self, all these uh, sponsors that have pledged all these big, big prizes, they are bigger than they just imagine Pepsi. Oh, Pepsi have not given her her one year supply. Well, if you ask me now, she's even in the advantage because now a bottle of Pepsi is around 400 naira as uh, versus 222, that like, was around 200 or so. So it's still their loss. Then unique soap again. I wonder why they are still owing her, but they also agreed to pay, give her her own supply tomorrow. I just hope they, you know, reach the agreement and they pay her so that our baby girl will shine now. How can she be a winner and not get all her, you know, winning packaging? And white money too. He also says something about it. He says he's going to be slamming them lawsuits soon. I just hope he starts so that they'll start taking them serious. Because it's not easy faking your lifestyle or even if you're not faking it, being authentic for a couple of days. Finance said was time two days, Abby. Being authentic or being fake and winning. It's not easy. Everybody constantly judging you because of one thing you did on Big Brother House. Yes, now some people are enemies with Fina, even with Anna in real life, just because of what she did in Big Brother's house. So at the end of it, people will now want to owe her after all the whole thing of the whole and to think that she was even the number one person that made the show very very interesting during her set yes because that during the outside the people that thing wanted to be so predictable and boring but now she came with a um, plot twist you know and like no 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 they should pay her i hope they just pay her and as for those uh, i don't even know their name that are doing btc for whatever they should better give her 224 equivalent because why would they be owing her since then? Because I didn't mean they paid her just like finance lawyer said. She would have saved it and by now she would have, you know, had a lot of money as the winner that she is. 
me i don't support uh, negativity i don't support um you know let's just call it intimidation that that is what they are doing exactly so that is a bad thing it's a big turn off for me so please hopefully they'll pay her. and i hope you by you coming on screen to say i've gotten out my prize money uh gen z ready i've gotten out my prize money they're not owing me let her not come back let her come and say that owing me because if she comes nobody will listen to her she will just be her against herself because most of the time they will just say something just to spite Fina. So I look at sleep to say Fina is the bad egg. But end of the day, according to Fina, is always a setup on her own side. Yes, that is what Fina said. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um please if you have not subscribed, kindly do so. And to my returning subscribers, I just know you guys have a huge space in my heart. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please do not forget to like please share okay comments okay let's interact thank you so much for tuning in have a good day and bye